right? So now with the new loan level pricing adjustment that's coming out in May with Fannie and Freddie, they're now looking at DTI. Okay. So debt to income ratio, right? Simple calculation, you take gross income and you do 29%, 31%, that's your housing payment. Okay. okay? So they're basically saying anything that's over 40%, we'll have a long level pricing adjustment which which what what does all that mean that means you're getting dinged interest rate wise because your dti will be higher am i correct that is correct so right. long level pricing adjustment basis points affect the discount point which controls what the interest rate is for the lender so are they trying to force people to go more fha loan programs <laughs> You know, because I, I, what's your DTI limit there? 40, 45 percent? Well, so conventional, right? I mean, Fannie and Freddie will go up to 50. Right. As a total back end ratio. Wow. All right. Okay. So, but, so you have two different types of DTI. DTI you right. have your front end ratio, which is your housing, right? So that's simple math, gross, you know, at 31, 29, 31 percent. That's the max that your housing payment can be. Correct. Right? The back end is your housing payment plus all your other debt. Right. FHA is different. FHA will go up to 45%. Okay. On a housing payment. And then with your back end ratio. Oh. 56 on the back end. So you qualify more, you know, on an FHA than you will conventional. Right. And you don't have to have solid credit for FHA. 